gala days in Dixie. Streamlined wings of the wind bring Hollywood to Atlanta for a history-making world premiere of the motion picture epic, Gone with the Wind. Yes, it's the Clark Gables, just in from the coast. Charming Carol Lombard and friend husband get a mighty welcome. In the, the story behind the Clark Gable um, visiting the Pioneer Saloon dates back to 1942. Unfortunately, his wife, Carol Lombard, was on an uh, airplane selling war bonds for the Army, flying from Las, uh, Las Vegas to Burbank, California. And unfortunately, they crashed and died on Mount Potosi, which is the mountain that sets behind the saloon. Um, uh, TWA Flight 3 was a transcontinental Western uh, Airlines aircraft. It was uh, flying from New York to Los Angeles. And uh, it made uh, multiple stops along the way, including a stop in Indianapolis to uh, pick up Carol Lombard. As the flight progressed west, it uh, eventually ended up in the evening at Las Vegas for re refueling and at 7.07 .07 p.m. it departed Las Vegas. Continued in a uh, southwesterly heading uh, flying from Las Vegas. It uh, started leveling off at about 8,000 feet and impacted uh, Mount Potosi uh, off to our left here. At, uh, at an elevation of 7,700 feet. So it was a uh, U.S. Army-led uh, investigation, if you would, and they were, they were brought down by pack mules and donkeys. So it was a mule team, um, and they were only bringing down remnants. There was no survivors. As a naturally, you know, to drown his sorrows, to, so to say, he came to the saloon, and um, he, was, he was a big cigar fan, and uh, he sat right here, and this is where the cigar burns came from. Uh, over the day, the hours that he spent here, uh, you know, falling asleep in different spots, um, drowning in his, uh, his sorrow. His wife had just passed away. So, and one of the items that I recovered uh, quite a few years ago was this uh, artificial horizon faceplate. Now, this is what uh, told the pilots to turn left or right. It gave them bank information, pitch information. One of the uh, one of the items that uh, was recovered uh, years ago uh, was a navigation instrument that uh, the pilots of Flight Three should have used to avoid hitting the mountain. And uh, parts of it uh, are right here. This is the uh, the Sperry Mark IV radio compass and what's left of it. Uh, had the pilots uh, used this or uh, had they incorporated it, it, they should have been able to avoid hitting the mountain. Unfortunately, uh, with all that's left of it, it's really it's one of the great mysteries of this accident is that we'll never know if, these, uh, if this compass was ever used to avoid hitting the mountain. 